Welcome to uh, another video lesson on uh, Photoshop. This one's going to be about how to use the uh, paint tool, paintbrush tool. I know many people have used this before and it's the basic thing that you use on Photoshop to uh, draw and design and stuff like that. But um, I'm just going to show you a few of the effects and what you can do with it. So go ahead and open a new canvas. Okay, so um, sorry about this. Okay, so what you got? You got a basic um color there. It's not that good though. I'd like to delete that. But uh, you got the swatches there, and you got the styles. Don't really need the styles. I like the swatches better. Gives you loads of uh different aspects and what color you'd like to choose. So I'm gonna choose black. Oh, that's like a. There you go. Um, I've got the basic brush pencil tool there, and the color placement. I should use the brush for this. I've, that's what it is. It's the paint brush. So this is the uh, standard brush you use. I'm just gonna do some patterns here. And I do have a tablet pen, but I'm just gonna use the mouse for this. Um, there. And what you can do is you can rub it out as well, just by the rubber. I'm not going to take all my time doing it. So if you right click the canvas, it comes up with a whole load of different ones, different brushes to choose from, and well, there's a couple there. I like the ones that have the uh, very uh, weird, bizarre designs, like these, which have the edges on. Um, just like that. I like this one. This is the grass effect. Makes it look really good. You can also make that green as well if you wanted to. A little bit of grass there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open a new canvas now. And it's getting pretty full. So, um... Just gonna right click again, you got the star. You can press one if you want to, you can press over them over and over again so that they'll go bolder. Um as that basic uh like width of the stars if you go, if you're gonna drag them, spread them around. I think this is leaves, I'm not sure. I haven't really used this one before. If you just click once it has the uh it's like clover leaves, I think. Um, this is a really good one. It's a uh, sort of like a airbrush type tool. It's really nice. Um, don't know what else to say really on the paintbrush tool. I'm just gonna uh, open a new canvas again. As you can see, they're getting pretty full. So yeah, I'm gonna go with the pencil tool now. This is the same with the pencil, really, although it's a little bit uh, more jagged. There you go, you can have that one there, that's just the pencil tools. Not really much different to the paintbrush tool, although I do prefer the uh, paintbrush tool better. This is a little bit etchy and stuff. So, I'm going to go the colour replacement tool now. I haven't used this one very much, I don't exactly know what to do with it. Just diameter, pen pressure, mm, just stuff like that. I don't really know what to do with it. As you can see, it's made the case a big, but I don't think we really need that. Oh, one little thing to add. This is not um, strictly to do with the fan brush, but this is a spot healing brush tool. And what you can do with this is just basically like a rubber, but it gives it a good effect. So if you line, it smudges it, so it makes a good effect. Like that, and uh, if you rub over it loads of times, it eventually just rubs out. I might try it with this one here until this is done. There you go. So if you just go around here a few times, you see it's gone. So, but if you want to just rub out stuff, you use a rubber just like that. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you can follow what I've done. Maybe do a little bit better than me. Post a video response if you want and show me how you done it. And um, yeah, I'd like to see. Thank you.